Hello guys, if you're following our channel, our lovely, amazing and very professional channel, you probably know that we have a new toy to play with. And that's the Moto G third generation. And we promise to make tests and so on and so on. So today we'll start with the most useless, in my opinion, test. And that's it, the benchmark scores. So I've downloaded these two apps. Geekbench and down to bench and I'll run the test and show you the test as running on Geekbench 3 because the Antutu test is taking a bit longer. Now, what do we have here? Motorola Moto G 3rd generation Android 5.1 There's the CPU, CPU speed and RAM memory, GPU and that's all we need to know right now. So let's just run the test. We don't expect to be the result to be in the top of the chart, of course. But as I said, that pretty much means nothing. But there are people who really love those things, and we want to satisfy everyone, even though we know it's impossible. By the way, I'm pretty amazed by the way its battery optimization software works on this device. Because on first run after we purchased it, it the battery level was on 45 or something. Uh, and today it's on 20% and it says that approximately work time remaining on battery is 14 hours. And that's pretty impressive. Of course we'll test this once the battery is completely discharged and we charge it again and we'll make another test just to let you know actually how long you can use it we're pretty much there it also stays very very good in the palm Yay! Results are in. 5.28 on single core, 15.74 multi core. Um, let's see the details. Motherboard, 4 cores, 1 CPU. I think the memory is actually 1 gig, but some of it is reserved for the operating system, and that's why I just display. 8.98 here are the times for different tests and so on and so on so yeah it's somewhere in the middle between the Xperia tablet Z and Nexus 7 mm. These are pro devices, so or at least it says so. Not a bad result, but as I said, that's not important. Multicore. Bit better like in terms of positioning here. Yep, so these are the results from Geekbench. Let's see this benchmark software. Uh, I ran this yesterday. And I will just show the scores because, as I said, it's taking forever to finish the test. So these are the results. And with... Okay, let's go and see the ranking. Oh, they made... Where are we? Oh, not a great position. <laughs> anyway, if you have any specific requirements for next test, just put it in the comment section. If you like this one, hit the like button. If you don't like it, as usual, give us constructive feedback. Please. And that's it for this video. See you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.